Hey my dear students and friends, today we're going to talk about our perfect postural position but we are not going to talk about the whole body, only about our upper part first. Um, so what we have, we have curved back, shoulders forward, uh, dropped chest and neck like so. Now we're going to change it. I want you to go um, and find the wall, straight wall, my wall have curved. That's not good. Try to find straight wall. Bring your heels towards the wall and touch the wall. We're going to talk about our uh, pelvis area in the next video. I'm not going to touch it now, but we're going to talk about our upper body now. Okay? So, out of this position, how to fix that? I'm going to take my hair and pull myself up towards the ceiling from the crown of my head not from here from the crown of my head at the same time i'm going to help myself with another hand place on my chin okay so i'm going to place this hand on my chin so you can see uh and i'm going to push my chin backward towards the spine meanwhile i'm lifting up i'm pulling myself i hope you can see that i'm pulling myself with the uh, hair up towards the ceiling. So I'm going to stretch my neck, I'm going to stretch my upper trapezius muscles that go from my head all the way to my shoulders and this is a really nice feeling. Now about shoulders. We have a muscle that goes from shoulders to our rib cage right there, the Coralis minor muscle. If this muscle is short my shoulders will come forward. Our idea will be to stretch this muscle to allow our shoulders to open up. So first we're going to breathe. We're going to interlace our fingers behind our head. We're going to breathe in. At the same time we look up and breathe out to natural position. So let's do it together. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Every time when you breathe in, Try to feel how your sternum area opening, how your uh, uh, muscle from shoulder to your rib cage is slightly stretching. And don't forget to bring your eyesight slightly higher. It will add on uh, the work on your neck muscle also. Another exercise, please come towards the wall and have your hand being about 45 degree of your shoulder, not at the same level, okay, but a little bit high, maybe 45 degree, 30, 40 degree. Now, your job will be to step kind of away, rotate your body away from your hand and arm. You'll feel the, uh, the stretch for the entire arm, you'll feel the stretch on this pectoralis minor muscle. What you don't want to do is to move only your hip, for example, or to break your shoulder forward. Now you're going to slowly rotate away from your arm, give yourself time, breathe in, breathe out. With every breath, you feel that your muscle is stretching, you allow your muscle to uh, relax a little bit and then stretch again. So imagine our muscles uh, were for years in a very tight condition in a very stiff condition and right now our idea will be to ease them to stretch them to relax them before we start to work in on them before we start to make them stronger because if in this condition we start to work on a muscle we're going to hurt ourselves even more so um, our idea will be to stretch our muscle to ease them and then working on their strength so another exercise how to open up uh, your shoulders will be on the floor. So we're going down. If you have problem with your neck, make it forward. Uh, bring a little pillowcase underneath your head. Your uh, neck muscles supposed to be relaxed. Your uh, pelvis supposed to do not um, be in front. You're, you're supposed to do not have an arch. And that's why we bring feet onto the floor. Make sure that pelvis in a neutral position. And we're going to place our arms like so. Uh, if you have short muscles here, your arms very likely will not touch the floor or you will feel a discomfort with that. So we're going to work on that. We're going to breathe in 
and while you're breathing out your arm will slide forward and up again breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out do this exercise maybe um, 25 times and do it every day and then you'll feel that your elbows become lower 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 and then you finally can relax your arms without any difficulty now the exercise for us uh, would be laying down on the floor on our stomach having our arms spread to the side now we're going to rotate and bring one arm up having another uh, on the floor we rotate slowly smoothly and feeling how our muscle is stretching very slowly if you can do more you're very welcome you may place your feet on the floor and continue to open up if you feel that this is enough for now that's okay we're going smoothly slowly allow our muscle to open up we do this gently for both arms obviously now uh, let's continue to walk on this part but from the back I'm going to take for this reason uh, the roller if you don't have roller that's okay you can make a roller from your towel or from a blanket something that is pretty much you know tight I'm going to place it underneath my shoulder blade um, and I'm going to allow all the rest of my muscles to be relaxed my pelvis will be in a neutral position my rib cage will be in a neutral position and my hands will be supporting my head Okay, I'm going to bring uh, uh, to lift up my uh, pelvis and I'm going to roll my muscles and shoulders comfortably, allow my body weight to work, to relax my bones and muscles. Feels really good when you finish the exercise, do it at least, I don't know, 20 times. Then when you finish, grab your leg and slowly go up. Um, so no sharp movements. Another thing how to open up this area, you could do what usually is done in all ballet schools and all dancers, young dancers are doing that and adults can do it as well. We are going to um, have something that is not stretchy, like ribbon in my case, or a stick, or a piece of fabric, or, or clothes. You're going to lift this up, go around and bring it behind your back and then forward. When you do that, you can stand, uh, but make sure that you are not going to open up you know, your uh, lumbar area. You're not going to sway your back. For this reason, I would recommend you actually to sit down. Sit on your pelvis, having your seat bones faces the floor not relax your back have it straight and nice and vertical then you're going to bring something right like a stick or a ribbon in my case and you're going to lift it up and bring it behind your back when you do so uh make sure that you're not bending your arms yeah not like this okay so straight arms the farther distance from your hands the easier will be to do the less you stretch your muscles so if you want to feel how your muscles stretch make the distance between your hands shorter and do it gradually okay don't hurt yourself do it gradually so if you feel okay i can uh, decrease distance um and then i feel okay maybe one more decrease in distance and then okay that's probably it yeah i do this 25 times okay maybe 20 20 times and then again i control my back it's absolutely straight not relaxed a pelvis uh, my pelvis in a neutral position then after that i breathe in breathe out and i bring my ribbon behind and feel them where the maximum stretch happens then i'm going to stay there for 10 breathe in breathe outs with every breath you feel that your muscle stretches more then you bring it down and then bring it forward and that's one and you want to do it for 10 more times okay now we try to open up here we try to stretch our muscles we try to ease them 
but also for dancing we need to be able to lift up our uh, chest for that we're going to use yoga exercises sphinx pose when you lean down not like a cobra but like a sphinx sphinx i'm sorry and then you try to pull yourself forward yeah you'll feel underneath your shoulder blades you feel how well you stretch your back your spine and then pull yourself forward that's nice exercise when you feel that your muscles uh, need to be stretched more go ahead and stretch them after that I mentioned that we also need to lift up our um, uh, upper body slightly another good exercise you can do having your piece of furniture behind you uh, sit with your straight back pelvis in a neutral area then you're going to lift your upper body up and try to think about high jumper you all know that they have like a bar behind them yeah imagine there is a bar behind me and I'm going to jump up and over this bar right so the same I do when I'm sitting here I have a straight lower back and I'm going to lift up on the upper part of my back stretch it and then bring it back and then I do it a few more times this part of our body, uh, this part of our spine is uh, not so flexible compared to the lower part of our back because we have muscles that connect from our spine towards the rib cage, and that's why this part of our back is less flexible. But we still can relax our muscles and can work on them. So we relax our muscles, we stretch them as much as we can. Now we're going to make them um work right we're going to make them stronger we're going down we're going to stretch our arms and hold them you may bring your legs on the floor because currently we're working on our upper body and we hold 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 and then we relax and then again up and hold 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 and, and then you relax you do this for 10 times now we walked a little bit on our opening up this area and we relaxed our uh, muscles on the shoulder blade area now let's walk on those muscles that hold our shoulder blades together so we're going to place our arms like so and go up and hold 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 relax and then again up and try to hold 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 and then again and again do this uh, maybe 10 times and then stretch your back all right so i hope those exercises will help you to open up your area and to make it a little bit your upper body area to make it a little bit stronger so you can create nice beautiful posture when you dance and you have no problem in your regular life next time we're going to talk about the whole back and lower part of our back Thanks.